Welcome to the Pedisco video tutorial on getting started in Peachtree. This tutorial supports our Peachtree practice sets written for students studying computerized accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback, and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this free video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos like this, and detailed instructions on using Peachtree, visit pedisco.com forward slash Peachtree. In this tutorial, you will explore a sample company in Peachtree, create a new company data file in Peachtree, change the accounting period, and learn how to run reports in Peachtree. Let's start with exploring Peachtree using a sample company. The first thing you need to do once you have opened Peachtree is to open the sample company. Here, we will do this by clicking on the Open an Existing Company button, clicking on Bellwether Garden Supply to highlight it, and then clicking OK. This will open the Peachtree main window. Here we can see the title bar and the menu bar with Peachtree's main menu items. One of the main parts of Peachtree you will use is the navigation bar, which lists the seven main navigation centres in Peachtree. Let's click on one of these navigation centres, Customers and Sales. Notice that the selection indicator changes to display the name of the navigation centre selected. Let's focus on one section of the navigation centre, the Tasks section. This section contains icons representing tasks that can be performed in the Navigation Centre, such as sales invoices. The task icons are divided into two sections. Maintenance tasks icons are at the top and are used during the setup process to enter information into the master files of the business. Information processing task icons are shown in the lower part of the task section and are used to record and process transactions relating to a particular business cycle. If we now click on one of the task icons, such as sales invoices, we can see that Peachtree offers a drop-down list that contains several specific tasks that can be performed. Clicking on one of these selections, such as new sales invoice, will bring up a Peachtree window where the information related to that task is entered. So now that we've explored Peachtree a little, we can move on to the next step, creating a new company data file. From the file menu, you can select the new company option. Alternately, you can close down the current data file by selecting file, close company. This brings up a window where we can open the create a new company wizard by selecting that icon from the options provided. This opens a window where you will simply answer the questions on each screen to create your company data file. You will know when you have reached the end of the setup process when you can click the finish button. Note that if you are completing the Pedisco Peachtree practice set, you should carefully read creating the company data file page which tells you the information to input into the Create a New Company wizard when setting up your company in Peachtree. The next step after creating your company data file is to change the accounting period. In Peachtree, you need to specify the accounting period for which you are recording transactions. The accounting period is changed simply by clicking on the accounting period icon in Peachtree, selecting the required accounting period, and clicking the OK button. This is a vital step if you are completing Pedisco's Peachtree practice set because it allows you to enter transactions in the month specified in your practice set, even though you may be completing your practice set in a different month. Now you have learned how to change the accounting period. To finish this tutorial, let's just spend a little time learning how to run reports in Peachtree. Peachtree has many pre-programmed reports that users can run at the click of a button or two. To access these, from the menu bar, click Reports and Forms, where you'll get a list of reporting categories to choose from. Let's select the Financial Statements category. The Select a Report or Form window is displayed, 
with a list of reports under the category selected. Notice that from this window, you can also access any of the other reporting categories. You should take some time looking through all of the reporting options to familiarise yourself with the location of various types of reports in Peachtree. To display a report, simply double-click it. This will display that report, which can be printed if required. If you need to change the report, such as displaying accounts with zero balances in the report, click the Options Toolbar button, check the appropriate box, and click OK. The report will automatically refresh to include this change. Remember there are often several ways to complete the same task in Peachtree. Visit Pedisco's Learning Centre at pedisco.com forward slash Peachtree Learning to learn about these alternate ways or for more information on the task covered in this tutorial. So that's a quick overview of getting started in Peachtree. You will find that we have covered exploring a sample company in Peachtree, creating a new company data file in Peachtree, changing the accounting period, and learning how to run reports in Peachtree. If you're doing the Peachtree Electronics Practice Set, good luck with your assignment.